Welcome to the Yomega Zone. In this program, we're going to show you how to get the most out of your Yomega high performance yo yo. And to help demonstrate all of these tricks, we have some of the best performers in the world, including world champion Jennifer Baybrook, Guinness World Record holder Chris Yosek, and up and coming yo yo star Eric Mintz. This show is divided into segments so that you can get to the parts that most interest you. The program is separated into four distinct sections care and maintenance, basic tricks, intermediate, advanced. If you'd like to skip ahead, simply rewind the tape, zero the counter in your VCR, and use the time approximations to fast forward to the section that most interests you. If you're a beginner, or if this is the first Yomega yo yo you've purchased, we recommend starting with the care and maintenance section. This section covers things like how to replace the string or lubricate the transaxle. Everything you need to know to keep your Yomega yo yo in top condition. But before we get started, here's four facts to impress your friends. Don't worry, there's no quiz at the end of this. Did you know that the word yo-yo is widely reported to have come from the native Philippine language Tagalog, meaning come come? While some people say the yo-yo was developed in ancient China, the first pictures of a yo-yo actually appeared on the sides of ancient Grecian urns. The first modern yo-yo was introduced in the U.S. around 1928, when Pedro Flores, a Filipino man, demonstrated and sold yo-yos in a San Francisco hotel. Until 1984, yo-yos were pretty much the same as they were in 1930. Until? Until Yomega introduced the yo-yo with a brain. A brain? You could use that. The brain is a plastic yo-yo with a centrifugal clutch, and it works this way. When the yo-yo is thrown hard enough towards the ground, the clutches separate and allow the yo-yo to spin freely. As the yo-yo slows down, springs push the clutches back together until they grab hold of the axle. At this point, the yo-yo winds up and returns automatically to the player's hand. The difference is the transaxle. See, with a traditional yo-yo, the string loops around the axle. With a transaxle, such as a fireball, a special low-resistance plastic ring slips over the axle. The string wraps around the outside of the ring. With a Yomega yo-yo, the string never touches the axle. Not only does the ring or spool permit extra long spins, it also gives the string a longer life. The longer the spin, the more tricks you can do. Which leads us to the longest spinning yo-yo of all. Roller bearing yo-yos. In 1991, Yomega introduced an even longer spinning transaxle, the Raider. The Raider uses a ball bearing ring around the axle. Spins of 30 to 60 seconds are common with the Raider. Now all Yomega yo-yos are modular. Except for the Panther. Except for the Panther. And this is important because sooner or later, no matter how skilled you are, you will get a knot in your yo-yo string between the halves. With a Yomega yo-yo, all you have to do is unscrew the halves, take it apart, undo the tangle, put the yo-yo back together, and you're all set to yo away. But you don't take it apart to change the string. You only need to take it apart to remove a knot, oil the axle, or replace a bearing or spool. We'll show you how to take it apart a little later, but first, there are a couple of important basics you need to know before you start to play. Things like adjusting the string. Here's Chris to show you. String length is important to prevent the yo-yo from striking the floor. To achieve the proper string length, set the yo-yo on the floor with the string fully extended. If necessary, cut the string three inches. That's about eight centimeters. Above your waist and reform the knotted loop so that the length of the string is waist high when the yo-yo is touching the floor. With the string now at the right length, you've got to make a slip knot. Using the loop you made, make a slip knot by pushing the yo-yo string through the loop. You now have an adjustable loop. Put the slip loop between the first and second knuckles of the middle finger of your playing hand. Pull the slip knot until it grips your finger snugly. You are now ready to yo. The key to yo-yoing is to stay loose. For once, you're right. When taking apart and reassembling the yo-yo, don't over-tighten because over-tightening might strip the axle or crack the plastic. And that would not be good. No. To take your Yomega yo-yo apart, twist the two halves of the yo-yo counterclockwise until the yo-yo comes apart. Untangle the string and put the yo-yo back together. Remember, when putting the yo-yo back together, be extremely careful not to over-tighten. To properly tighten the Yomega yo-yo, place one half of the yo-yo against the palm of your hand and tighten it by turning the other half with the other hand. Tighten it until the yo-yo slips in your open palm when twisted. To wind up the brain, 
Grab one half of the yo-yo with your fingers. Grab the string with your other hand and wind it up. It's easy to wind the string on a Omega Brain yo-yo. To wind a non-brain Omega yo-yo, such as a Fireball, Raider, or RB2, grab one half of the yo-yo with the fingers of your non-yoing hand. Place your index finger over the groove of the yo-yo and wind the string once over your index finger. Lift your finger and wind the string inside the finger for the second and third times around. Now pull your finger out of the loop. Wind the loop into the yo-yo. Finally, throw your yo-yo down and up once to clear the string. Now your Yomega yo-yo is ready for play. Frequent string replacement is recommended to keep your Yomega yo-yo in top shape. You know it's time to change the string when it becomes worn, frayed, or dirty. If you own a Yomega Brain, Fireball, or Power Spin model, you should know that these require the double twist method, sometimes called the double loop method. To perform the double twist method, first untwist a 4 inch section of the end of the new yo-yo string, which does not have a knotted loop, and hold this section of the string open. Loop the string over the yo-yo, but continue to hold the string open. Next, twist the string by crossing over the strands and loop it over the yo-yo. Twist and loop again. And finally, allow the natural twist in the string to relax the string. If you own a Raider, Wing Force, Metallic Missile, or other Yomega Roller Bearing Yo-Yo, use the single looping method to replace the string. Simply untwist the end of the string and slip over the Yo-Yo. You may gently twist the string so that it tightens toward the direction of the bearing and axle. The final thing to remember about your Yomega Yo-Yo is that it needs to be lubricated. That's right oiled. Now, Yomega yo-yos are oiled at the Fall River, Massachusetts factory with a light oil, but you're still going to need to oil your yo-yo from time to time. A good rule is to oil your yo-yo once for every two days of play. The best oil to use on the Yomega yo-yo is called Brain Lube, available from Yomega. In fact, when oiling the axle, never, never, never use spray oils. Spray oils will permanently damage your yo-yo. To lubricate the brain, fireball, and power spin models, simply unscrew the two halves and remove the nylon spool from the axle. Using your official Yomega Brain Lube pen, apply only a small drop of Brain Lube along the axle. Replace the nylon spool and reassemble the halves by screwing them back together and snugly tightening. For roller bearing models, unscrew the yo-yo halves and remove the string from the roller bearing. If your yo-yo has a nylon or metal spacers, which hold the bearing in place, be sure not to lose them. Now place a small drop of Yomega Brain Lube in the channel between the inside and outside parts of the roller bearing yo-yo. Reassemble the yo-yo halves, taking care not to over tighten. Before we move on, here's a tip. You know your yo-yo needs oil if it does not return when you jerk the string, or if your yo-yo makes a high-pitched squealing sound when you play with it. At last, it's time to start with some tricks. We'll begin with the basics and work our way up towards more difficult tricks. All of the tricks covered in this section are also covered in the Yomega Trick Book under workstations one through three. At the heart of all tricks is a sleeper. This is where the yo-yo is spinning or sleeping at the base of the string. Here to show us the sleeper and some other basic tricks is Eric Mitz. To perform the sleeper, you want to throw the yo-yo down, but not jerk it as it reaches the end of the throw. Instead, what you want to do is hold your hand still, allowing the yo-yo to spin or sleep. Now, after a few seconds, you will hear the yo-yo slow down in its spin. Before it runs out of gas, just give the string a jerk and bring the yo-yo back to your hand. When you throw the Omega yo-yo with a brain, really hard, the yo-yo will sleep at the bottom until the brain automatically brings the yo-yo back to your hand. To get a really solid sleeper, you might find that it is better to throw your yo-yo at a 45 degree angle in front of you. To do this, visualize an imaginary target about five feet in front of you. Aim at this imaginary target as you throw your yo-yo. The harder you throw the yo-yo, the longer it will sleep. Turn your hand over and wait for the clutch to engage. If you are using a yo-yo without a clutch, such as the fireball, Give the string a jerk. Here's a tip. 
If the yo-yo is tilted to the right, aim a bit left of your target. If the yo-yo is tilted to the left, aim a bit to the right of the target. It's essential that you learn how to throw a straight, fast spinning sleeper because many tricks build off this one, including our next two tricks. The creeper and walk the dog. Let's start with the creeper. Throw a hard sleeper and let it swing behind you. As it swings forward, let the yo-yo touch the ground. As the yo-yo clutch engages, the yo-yo will walk or creep back to your hand along the ground. If you're using a non-clutch yo-yo, give the string a firm jerk to retrieve it. Another way to perform this trick is to walk the dog on the outward end of the string. Just throw your hard sleeper, lower your hand to the ground, and let the yo-yo walk or creep back to you along the ground. Advanced players allow the yo-yo to swing backwards and touch it to the ground on its forward swing. This momentum will allow you to walk the dog even further. It's important to practice these classics because mastering them will help you move on to more difficult tricks. Our next level of trickery involves three new skills. Let's check out Rock the Baby, Around the Corner, and one of my personal favorites, Forward Pass. Rock the Baby requires being able to create a triangular cradle out of the string while still controlling the sleeping yo-yo. Begin by building the cradle with a dead string. What we mean by that is with a non-spinning yo-yo, pull the string out to its full extension. To build the cradle, hold your right hand high in front of you, letting the dead non-spinning yo-yo hang down. Spread the fingers of your left hand out wide. Bring your outstretched left hand back toward you. Swing your right hand down and pinch the string. While still pinching the string with your yo-yo hand, rotate your yo-yo hand away from your body and down, forming a cradle. If performed correctly, you should have built a triangle of string. Let the yo-yo swing back and forth inside this cradle of string. Practice this motion until you can build the cradle quickly and without hesitation. After you feel confident, add the sleeper to the trick, rocking the sleeping baby in the cradle. The next trick is called around the corner or pop in the clutch. Like many others, you start with a hard sleeper. Check to make sure that it is sleeping straight up and down. Swing the string around and behind the upper part of your yo-yo arm so that the yo-yo hangs behind you, draped over your upper arm. If you are using a fireball or raider, give the string a jerk just above the yo-yo to bring it home. Just make sure you are ready to catch the yo-yo on its return. The forward pass is a neat trick because it's not so much up and down as it is in and out. Start by letting your arm hang straight down, facing your palm back and up. Now reach your arm back about a foot and bring it forward, simultaneously releasing the yo-yo. Your yo-yo will swing out and come back. Catch the yo-yo with your palm up. A word of caution, before we move ahead, our next trick around the world should be practiced in a safe, open area, preferably outdoors. Be careful not to perform or practice this maneuver near window, glass objects, pets, or people. And always check behind you before you begin this trick. Make sure you're in a clear area with at least six feet, about two meters of room around you. Throw the yo-yo straight out in front of you like a forward pass. However, instead of calling the yo-yo back to you, swing the sleeping yo-yo in a large circle at the end of the string. As it comes back around in front of you, give the yo-yo a light tug and catch the yo-yo on its return. Here's a tip. It's important to keep the string taut. Otherwise, it will return before a complete circle has been made. Also, if your brain yo-yo is coming back prematurely, throw the yo-yo out a little harder next time. Harder! Loop the loop is not an easy trick and will take a lot of practice to master. Don't be discouraged if you have difficulty with it in the beginning. Perform a forward pass. As the yo-yo returns to your hand, don't catch it. Instead, wait until the yo-yo is about six inches from your hand, then flip the yo-yo around the inside of your wrist with a circular motion, sending it back out forward as if performing another forward pass. Repeat this as often as you can and set progressively harder goals. Start with a single loop, then try two loops until you can catch the yo-yo every time. When you've got it, try for three loops, four, five, until you can throw 25 or more loops without a miss. Wait, if you're right-handed, tighten the string around the axle before attempting repeated loops. Each loop will loosen the string one half turn. For left-handed loops, each loop will tighten the string one half turn. 
The Sleeping Beauty is a beautiful trick to watch when performed smoothly. It's sometimes called the UFO or flying saucer. Throw the yo-yo diagonally. Let the yo-yo sleep sideways so that it rotates like a flying saucer. Take your free hand and hook the string a few inches from the yo-yo. Your right and left hands should be at an even height. Throw your yo-yo up into the air, lift both hands at the same time. Let the yo-yo wind up and it returns to your hand as it comes back down. You'll need to learn how to throw the Sleeping Beauty in both directions, left and right. It is, in fact, more than just another trick. It also provides a quick way to loosen or tighten the twist in the string. When you throw a Sleeping Beauty to the right, it tightens the string. When you throw it to the left, it unwinds or loosens the string. The breakaway is the trick that almost appears to defy gravity. To do this maneuver, hold the yo-yo in your right hand and make a muscle. After it unwinds, swing the yo-yo downward in an arc till the yo-yo is approximately at your height of your left shoulder. Let the yo-yo hang at shoulder level for a second or so. As it starts to fall, snap it back to your hand. While practicing, imagine or draw with chalk a straight line across the ground in front of you. Stand with your toes six inches behind the line. When you swing the yo-yo in front of you, try to make it track along the straight line. Rattlesnake starts by throwing a sleeping beauty, but do not pick up the string with your free hand. Instead, let the string brush against a loose part of your pants. The fluttering string will create a vibrating sound. To complete this maneuver, jerk the yo-yo up to your chest level and hold your hand about a foot to the side of your yo-yo. The yo-yo should then return to your hand. To practice the Confederate flag, start this maneuver with your yo-yo dead at the bottom of the string. Place your hands in front of you with your palms facing you and with the fingers of your left and right hands pointing towards each other. Put three fingers of your left hand together with your baby finger apart and pointing down. With your free hand, grab the string with the three fingers and pull the string to your left. Reach over with the same three fingers of your right hand and grab the string below your left hand. Pull the right hand back to the right. Complete the X part of the flag by reaching over with the same three fingers of your left hand and grab the string below your right hand. To complete the flag, reach over with your right pinky finger and snag the string hanging below your left hand. After you master these motions with a dead string, add the sleeper. Let's see that again. Dizzy Baby requires a strong sleeper, followed by Rock the Baby. Swing the yo-yo back and forth, while at the same time weaving the left side of the cradle around the yo-yo. Now, flip your yo-yo over the top of the cradle one to three times. On the final flip, throw the yo-yo away from you and catch it as it returns. A word of caution. You've got to wrap the yo-yo around the side of the string that is farthest from the slip knot end. Otherwise, you may find that you are tying your string into a giant knot. Baseball is just what it sounds like. Throw a very hard, sleeping beauty at a 45 degree angle across your body to the right. Now, keeping tension on the line, let the yo-yo walk the dog in a semicircle from left to right. Count out loud as the yo-yo progresses around the bases. First base, second base, third base, home run! As the yo-yo returns to you on the ground, instead of catching it, flick it back out and do a loop-the-loop, -loop, finishing it with a clean catch. Level 5. With these tricks, you're halfway through the yo-yo guide. In this section, Chris is going to show us Eiffel Tower, eating spaghetti, elevator, and hop the fence. This trick has also been called Slurp the Spaghetti, Eating Linguini, and Eddie Spaghetti. After throwing a strong sleeper, keep gathering pieces of the string alternately with your right and left hand, creating strands of spaghetti hanging down from your yo-yo hand. Bring the spaghetti up to your mouth, Drop the yo-yo and at the same time make a loud slurping sound. As the yo-yo drops, it will wind up the loose string. If you time your slurping sound correctly, it will look as if you've slurped the spaghetti into your mouth. Be sure to keep your free hand palm side down to protect your mouth and face during the slurpy catch. Step one, you guessed it, sleeper. 
Now place your free hand straight out. Slowly place the string over your free hand's index finger. Now raise your free hand while lowering your yo-yo hand until the yo-yo gets to within six inches from your free hand. When you get to this point, quickly flip your yo-yo over the top. Hop the fence is similar to throwing loop-the-loop -loop towards the ground. Start by throwing a soft sleeper or gravity pull. As the yo-yo comes back up, flip your wrist forward, allowing the yo-yo to jump over your hand and continue back toward the floor. At this point, you have a choice of two ways to perform this trick. You can keep the yo-yo going over your wrist in the same direction every time, or, if you prefer, you can flip your wrist backwards on the next pass, sending the yo-yo back down toward the floor in the opposite direction. This version is sometimes called the planet hop. Whichever method you choose, repeat the hops as many times as you can, alternating the direction of the hop with each pass over the wrist. Welcome to the Eiffel Tower. The easiest way to learn this trick is with the dead yo-yo. Now, touch the back of your free hand's thumb against the string. In a circular motion, bring your yo-yo hand over your free hand and down. Touch the back of your yo-yo thumb against the string. Using the same circular motion, bring your free hand over and down. Pinch the string with your thumb and index finger. Keeping the string pinched with your free hand, move your yo-yo hand in a half circle away from and under your free hand, letting the string fall off of your pinched fingers and into place. Your yo-yo hand should be palm up. With a little adjusting, you should be able to see the tower take form. These next tricks will make your yo-yo routine anything but routine. Buzzsaw, run the dog, man on the flying trapeze, and motorcycle should make your performances a bit more theatrical. To perform buzzsaw, have a friend hold a piece of paper tightly, then throw a hard sleeper. Gently run the spinning yo-yo across the paper. This will create a power saw cutting sound. This trick actually works best with an empty tissue box. Run the dog is a trick that is always fun with a crowd. Start with a hard sleeper, then gently loosen and remove the loop from your finger. Allow the yo-yo to touch the ground and immediately release the string from your hand. The yo-yo will take off across the floor, running as it winds up the string. Just make sure no one is in the way of your yo-yo as it speeds away. The man on the flying trapeze is a more advanced trick that will require a considerable amount of practice to perfect. Begin with a breakaway. Let the yo-yo loop over your outstretched left forefinger. As it swings around in an arc, catch it on the string. That's right on the string. This is the part that will require a lot of practice. Bring your hands together, rock it, pull your hands apart, and then pop it off the string. Don't be discouraged if your early efforts appear fruitless and you're tempted to think, I'll never get this one. Don't give up. You'll get it. To build your own motorcycle, throw a fast sleeper. Then with your left hand, grab the string between your thumb and forefinger. Lift your left hand above your right hand. Grab the string between your right center finger and thumb. Reach through the loop in your free hand, pulling the string through the loop to form the handlebars of the motorcycle. Touch the still spinning yo-yo to the floor and let it walk as you pursue it, making a roaring motorcycle sound. Before we move on to our last two levels of tricks, Let's take one second to meet our next demonstrator, world champion Jennifer Baybrook. My name is Jennifer Baybrook and I am the 1998 world yo-yo champion. I got into yo-yoing uh, when I was six and a half by a Cheerio yo-yo demonstrator who was teaching yo-yo lessons at the campground I was camping at. And I picked up the yo-yo, got involved in the lessons and kind of just went with it. I think it was just a lot of fun for me at the time. It still is. I have a blast doing it. Um, and it was a challenge to me, and I love challenges. I'm going to take this year off. I just finished high school, so I'm going to take this year and spend it traveling the world, playing yo-yos all over for boys and girls. I use the Omega Raider and the RV2 um, because it was a long spinning yo-yo, and it's good for a high performance playing, for really advanced playing. Um, and it's also good for the two-handed play that I love to do.
The tidal wave starts with a hard sleeper. Place your left forefinger under the string and touch that finger to your right forefinger. Then, slide your left forefinger upward, lifting both the string and the yo-yo. Whip the yo-yo inside as if you were throwing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Send the yo-yo out in front of you and jerk it back to your hand. To perform a barrel roll, start with a hard sleeper. Load the yo-yo onto the string with an undermount or bottom mount. This movement is performed by pushing your left forefinger sharply into the string, flipping the yo-yo over the finger and onto the string. Then come over your index finger again. Position the index finger of your right hand against the inside of the string closest to your body and pull down on the string so that the yo-yo slides up and comes over your index finger. Follow the string back down with your right index finger. Take your right index finger out of the string and place it back in front of the string closest to you. Bring your finger back down under the yo-yo and back up to the same position to start a new roll. To dismount, slide your left finger out of the yo-yo string, pull up with your right hand, let the yo-yo swing out, and finish the maneuver with two rotations and a Ferris wheel dismount. Throw a Sleeping Beauty to begin the lariat maneuver. Now instead of grabbing the string, let the yo-yo spin horizontally at the bottom of the string. Quickly jerk the yo-yo up to the chest level the yo-yo will return to your hand if it has enough RPMs or spin speed remaining in it. World Tour is exactly like Around the World, except that it starts with a breakaway and the yo-yo goes around the world in front of you, across your body. A tug on the string as the yo-yo comes back around will return it to your hand. Start with an Around the World one time to begin warp drive. As the yo-yo returns to your hand, don't catch it. Instead, send it out in front of you as if you were doing loop the loop. Loop it only one time. Go into a second loop, but instead of bringing it straight back toward your hand as if you were throwing another loop, send it around the world again. The idea of the trick is to throw an around the world, then a single loop, then an around the world, then a loop. You get the picture. To perform a brain twister, bring your yo-yo hand under and up. Push your yo-yo finger against the string, pulling the string towards you. Flip the yo-yo up and over the top in a circle one or more times. Now, separate your hands. Flip the yo-yo off the line and rotate your hands. Complete the trick with a clean catch. Rocket in the pocket is a great way to close your performance. Start with a hard sleeper, and while the yo-yo is sleeping, Quickly loosen the slip knot around your finger and remove the string from your yo-yo hand. Pinch the loop between the two fingers and jerk on the yo-yo string. The yo-yo should continue to travel up and over your head. As the yo-yo reaches its zenith and begins to fall back to earth, open up your pocket and prepare for the rocket to land in your pocket. Be sure to practice this trick in a big open area with a high ceiling or even better, outdoors on grass. Learn how to make the rocket go straight up and straight down and back to you. Be sure you are able to control the flight of the yo-yo before you attempt this trick in public. Be aware that if the yo-yo should fly out of control, you risk striking an audience member on his way down. You have reached the final level of maneuvers. This is Workstation 8. These next eight tricks take everything you've learned and put them to the test. Let's take a look as Jennifer shows us double or nothing, shoot the moon, vertical loops, atomic bomb, three-leaf clover, dog bite, split the atom, and of course, two-handed loops. Double or nothing begins by throwing a man on the flying trapeze. As the yo-yo comes around your left forefinger, do not catch the yo-yo on the string at this point. Let the yo-yo continue around your right forefinger, then up and around your left forefinger a second time. On the second flip, catch the yo-yo on one of the strings stretched out between your two hands. You exit Double or Nothing the same way you exit Man on the Flying Trapeze. Flip the yo-yo straight up off the string. Release the strings wrapped around your forefingers and catch the yo-yo as it returns to your hand. Shoot the Moon begins with a forward pass aimed slightly upward. As the yo-yo returns, do not catch it. Instead, 
Bend your fingers in and flick your wrist around and send the yo-yo straight up into the air above your head. Then, as the yo-yo returns, flip it back out in front of you. As it returns to your hand, you have two choices. You can catch the yo-yo, or you can flip your wrist again as you did before and send the yo-yo back up directly over your head. Be extremely careful while practicing this trick. There is a very real danger of striking yourself or a spectator. Before attempting this trick, make sure you are not looking directly into the sun or other bright light. No obstacles such as tree limbs or lighting fixtures get tangled in your string. And if you are indoors, be sure the ceiling is at least 10 feet high. If the ceiling is too low, kneel down before attempting the trick. Also, you might want to wear your bicycle helmet while learning this trick. Vertical loops are the ultimate single-handed loop-the-loop -loop maneuver. This trick is thrown exactly like loop-the-loop, -loop, except that you throw the yo-yo vertically straight up and down above your head. Again, be very careful not to hit your face when the yo-yo returns. The atomic bomb many experts consider is the most difficult single yo-yo trick of all. Start with an over-under mount, which means you start by flipping the yo-yo over your left hand and under your right hand, followed by mounting the yo-yo on the string. Now, slide your left hand down below the yo-yo and pull your left hand straight up and allow the yo-yo to transfer from one string to the other. Slide your left hand down under the yo-yo again and slide it back up, allowing the yo-yo to again transfer from one string to the other. To dismount, slide your finger out and lift your right hand straight up into the air. If you're really in the Omega Zone, you might enjoy finishing this maneuver with a Ferris wheel dismount. Another variety of loop-the-loop -loop is a three-leaf clover. First, throw a vertical loop upward. As it comes down, don't catch it. Instead, send it back out again, straight out in front of you. This time, as it returns, send it over the falls and catch it on the return. The dog bite maneuver, when performed flawlessly, seems as if the yo-yo actually bites your pants and hangs there. This is a difficult trick, but when performed properly, it's quite funny. Throw a fast sleeper, swing the yo-yo backwards between your legs, and retrieve it in such a way that the spinning yo-yo catches on the back of your pant leg. Pulling on the string will release the yo-yo from its grip. Be sure to wear loose pants, and long pants are best. Split the atom. In this trick, we start with the over-under mount, which means you start by flipping the yo-yo over your left hand and under your right hand, followed by mounting the yo-yo on the string. Slide your left hand under the yo-yo and move it halfway up the string. Then, slide your right hand under the yo-yo and move it halfway up the string. Then, spin the yo-yo forward two rotations. To dismount, pull your right hand up into the air and finish with a ferris wheel dismount. Our final trick is known as two-handed loops. The key is to get the hang of looping with one hand first and then try looping with two hands. Practice looping with your non-yo-yo hand until you can loop as well as you can with your yo-yo hand. Once you get fairly confident of your ability to loop with your weak hand, begin practicing looping with both hands simultaneously. Time your throws so that one yo-yo is going out as the other is coming back. Proficient two-handed looping is a definite sign of a yo-yo master. Well, we've been all over today. We've seen basic techniques. Intermediate techniques and more advanced routines. You've seen it. You've heard about it. Now there's only one thing left. Do, Do it. it.